everybody we're talking about fragrances that i don't think are worth the hype that i saw about them okay now everybody's opinion is valid this is just mine you might love some of these fragrances but they just don't scratch that itch for me and the first one i am going to mention is sweetie oud by raja parfums when i looked at this fragrance online before it arrived it was getting five out of five kind of reviews where people were saying that, you know, it was a long lasting sweet fragrance that was reminiscent of being in a bakery and they just finished breaking, <laughs> baking this fresh baked bread and it had this pastry kind of vibe to it, right? But all that I got in the air on my clothes and on skin was a really heavy oud fragrance. And if you don't know what oud is, it's this very intense smelling wood that can smell animalic and kind of like a barnyard. So if you were to have a bunch of random people on the street smell oud, it would definitely be a head turner, but not in a way that is attractive. In fact, it's a head turner in a way that's kind of repulsive. You know, what I have noticed is that people that love oud fragrances are much farther along in their fragrance journey where they're very comfortable wearing these daring polarizing fragrances and they just have, you know, a nose for these kinds of things. But to me, I definitely really wanted to smell more of that pastry. Um, and it was kind of there, but definitely just blown out of the water by the oud in this fragrance, which is why I was kind of let down with this scent. And you could say skin chemistry, but I, smelt it in the air like i said i sprayed it on my clothes and i also had other people's opinion about this just to see if you know they thought differently and everybody sort of agreed not sort of everybody did agree that it was not a pleasant sort of fragrance and it just kind of smelled a bit funky you know so sweetie oud now another scent that got a lot of hype that i wasn't really taking much of a liking to was fucking fabulous. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't something that I find repulsive. In fact, I do find this fragrance to be really nice. It's really wearable, but for the name, I don't think the scent lives up to it being fucking fabulous at all. Like I said in my individual video about this fragrance, it smells more like a clean baby. And to be more specific, like when you finish showering, a newborn child with Johnson & Johnson shampoo and you swaddle them and you're cuddling with them and they just smell so good and they're like, damn, it's just that baby smell, you know, and you just wanna keep cuddling into them or just keep holding them, right? That is what fucking fabulous smells like to me. And then in the background is a little bit of this baby wipes sort of smell. So yes, it's something that's comforting, but it doesn't scream fucking fabulous. I was looking for a fragrance that would be polarizing where you can easily tell if it's something that people would love or hate. And to be honest, people actually do love or hate this fragrance, but it's almost a bit, it's too safe. The smell to me is too safe for what the name implies it's going to be, you know? So fucking fabulous by Tom Ford. Another fragrance that had a lot of hype that I didn't really gravitate to was oof, here it is honey oud by montal and this fragrance to me i want to like i said with the first one me and oud fragrances not really the best but i love honey like i love the honey and naxos that was a really smooth fragrance and this one definitely is a bit rough up close i can get how it's kind of nice in the air but even with that when I was testing this fragrance, I was doing my best to fall in love with it and try to really like it after giving it multiple wears, but my reaction always fell flat where it just was not my vibe at all. I feel like if I lived in cooler weather and I wasn't surrounded by warmth almost the entire year, I would definitely have much more of an appreciation for this. Like if I lived in Seattle or in the UK, then this might be, I, I'm assuming this would be a banger in that kind of weather. Um, but yeah, a heavy fragrance and very oody. But on the other hand, I love Intense Cafe. So that is my favorite Montal fragrance. But this one doesn't really do it for me. Another fragrance 
is from Eight and Bob, and it is Eight and Bob, the original. And I was super excited to try this scent because apparently JFK wore it. And I'm like, man, this thing has been, this kind of scent profile and this fragrance itself has been around for a few decades, you know? And the one thing I will credit this fragrance for is the fact that I feel like you can throw it in any decade and it'll work. You know, this smells like a timeless, classic sort of scent. And I find it to actually be a very likable fragrance but just not it ah, how do i say this it's not that it isn't memorable because i could see how it is but what is it? it just it just didn't grip me just to keep it simple it just did not grip me personally i do think that this is a nice signature scent though it could be something that you dress up something that you can just wear in some casual clothing and it gives off a nice barbershop kind of vibe so it's a nice fresh clean fragrance but i find it more to be so so than amazing again this video is based around the hype i heard of these um, not really based as standalone fragrances because if i smell this um, as a standalone set a standalone scent then you know i would i like i do right now i like it but because I've heard of things before that were making me feel a certain type of way, this is, it's, it's teetering. And the last fragrance, oh, actually, I have two more fragrances. I just saw another one. But Amris Femme. Now, if you're not on TikTok, you probably didn't see a lot of viral videos going around about Amris Femme claiming that it was a Helen of Troy type of fragrance and that it's, you know, one in the million, like one in a million, a diamond in the rough, that this will really separate you from the crowd. So I was receiving a lot of messages on my TikTok saying, please review this fragrance. Everybody's talking about it. And I want to wear a scent that is going to make me smell different from everybody. So of course, that was already in my mind. I was expecting a masterpiece. And instead, I was met with a scent it smells like a middle-aged woman at a garden, garden at a garden party eating like cucumber sandwiches. You know this. It smells nice. It kind of reminds me of Springtime in a Park by Maison Margiela. But because of what I heard, I was like, damn, that that's what I'm getting is like a niche version of Springtime in a Park. And that is a fragrance that I actually compliment women with when they wear it. So I'm not opposed to this sort of scent. It isn't a bad scent, but it just isn't like a Helen of Troy kind of fragrance to me. You know, it isn't something that is hypnotizing or that's groundbreaking. It's just like a fresh floral. So I was definitely taken aback when I smelled this fragrance. I'm like, is this the one that everybody's talking about? I'm gonna smell it again. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I definitely do get kind of middle-aged woman vibes with this scent, but it doesn't smell mature. If, that I know that sounds a bit contradicting, but I feel like even if you're in your 20s, you can pull this off. But the first person my mind comes to when I smell this is a middle-aged woman at a garden party. Yeah, Amris Femme. Nice scent, just not Helen of Troy worthy, in my opinion. And the last one, oops, let me move you. I'm sure you all know which one I am talking about. It is from Serge Off. And it's Alexandria II, Alexandria the second, uh, the second. This fragrance, man. This fragrance I had quite the roller coaster with. I had a bit of a honeymoon phase with this fragrance where for a couple days I really thought it was a masterpiece, right? And I do think that it's something bold. Definitely. If you want to wear something different than everybody else out there for the most part and you throw this on, it's going to be, it will check all those boxes. But it smelled, yes, I smelled the sandalwood with it, but it also kind of smelled a little bit like baby powder the more and more that I was wearing it. And on top of that, you know, I was, I would test it on myself throughout the day. And then I got some reactions from people as well during my multiple wearings of this fragrance and they were kind of like mm, 
about it. There are some people that are like, oh yeah, like I could, like they said, like, yeah, I could smell that. But it was just left as like a, a dot, dot, dot. Another reaction I got was that this is a two out of 10. Um, I believe I actually had a video with Dar and she said that this fragrance was either a three or a four out of 10. And I know that I sprayed it fresh, right? And then I had the next day, I didn't video this part, but I had her smell the test strips because we did a video where I had her blind smell things and she gave me her first impression and she rated them. But when she smelled the dry down a day later, she like she hated it even more. She was like, no, that is still a major pass. So this fragrance is one that is beloved, beloved? Damn, am I saying all the right words, wrong words? This fragrance is really loved in the community. Um, by fragrance enthusiasts, but just be cautious. Like if you're seeing a lot of reviews on it, thinking that, you know, it's going to translate to reactions you will get in the real world, pump the brakes just a little bit because it doesn't, there's a little bit of a disconnect between the fragrance community and how the average person on the street view fragrances. And this is a scent that is loved on one side and not really as loved on the other side. But anyways, th those are the fragrances that, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, had a lot of hype that I heard and I don't find them to be worth it personally. And that's just based on my smell, me wearing them, all right? Of course, you make your own decisions on what you like. And if you love any of these, please continue to rock the shit out of them. But anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.